Kyle Marcelli. I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm driving for R Ferry Motorsport in the Pirelli World Challenge. We're in a Ferrari 488 GT3 car. We're basically just shaking the car down today. This is my first time in the 488 GT3 car, so just getting familiar with all the controls and uh, you know what the car likes and doesn't like and its behaviors. Uh, and getting myself up to speed, it's been a couple of months, so I gotta shake the cobwebs off. But so far, so good. The car is a dream to drive. This car produces a lot of downforce and there's a few high speed sections of the track, the uphill S's, you know, which are virtually flat out. Um, and so it's just a, a, impressive the amount of grip that the car has at high speed. Also in the brake zones, the car is very, um, very, very good. I've, I've so far today left a little on the table there. I'm just, um, there's so much more in the car. And, uh, you know, that's what today's for though, is just finding its limits. And then we come back, you know, in a month's time for the race and we'll be ready to, to gun and, and go for the win. So last year I was uh, running an Audi, Audi R8. Uh, it was the previous generation car though, and, and obviously it's, it's a night and day different. Obviously this car is turbocharged. You have to sort of predict, you know, your, your throttle application. Maybe it needs to be just a little bit sooner uh, you know, in anticipation for the turbo to kick in. Of course the technology has come so far and, you know, we hear of turbo lag, but it's very, very minimal. I mean, we're talking fractions of a second, but the torque is incredible. Like it just pulls so incredibly hard. <laughs> So I started racing uh, as a young age of 10, started racing go-karts. By the age of 15, I was just starting into cars, single-seaters, formula cars, um, but with sponsorship being so important in, in single-seater racing, I had to look to sports cars if I really wanted to make a career at it, and made that transition in 2009, and have been blessed to maintain a career racing sports cars uh, since then. Um, driven a number of manufacturers, uh, a number of different types of cars, from prototype race cars to GT race cars. You know, the sport of auto racing is very unique. It's un unlike any other sport. I mean, there, there's, there's not a specific ladder system in place like there is in, in basketball or hockey or what have you. Um, it's, you know, a talent driven. You have to be good when you're in the car, but it, there, you know, your ability outside of the car goes a long way as well. So are you good in front of a camera? Or are you uh, good with corporate sponsors? Because that all plays a big role in the sport. I think those that are interested in the sport, you know, step one is uh, do some track day stuff. You know, if you have a Honda Civic, if you have a BMW, whatever it might be, just do some track day stuff. There's a lot of it going on all over North America. You know, see if, uh, if you have an ability, if, if you like it. Uh, and then from there, you know, get into some competitive go-kart racing maybe, uh, because it is a very who-you-know type sport. And if you can start off at the lower level and just meet the right people, they'll kind of pass you along, you know, as, as you go up. But it's, it's very money-driven, so, you know, being good outside of the car and seeking corporate sponsorship and putting together valuable ideas for partners to join your racing program, all that stuff adds up. Yeah, so this level here, the Pirelli World Challenge, is really the pinnacle of sports car racing uh, in terms of a sprint race format here in North America. So our races in the Pirelli World Challenge are one hour sprint races. We're actually going to be making a pit stop about halfway. There'll be no fuel, but just tires and a driver change. And so it's a really sort of high octane, fast paced environment where every tenth of a second matters. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no.
for me, step one was I, I want to establish myself at the highest level of sports car racing. I want to be a professional racing car driver and, and, and sort of check that box in, in 2010. But it hasn't been easy. Every year since, it's like you get to the end of the season, October, it's just so stressful. Uh, you know, trying to ensure that you have a job again for the next year. It's a very competitive sport. You know, what I'm really driving for now is some consistency, some, some longevity or stability with, with one program, one team, one car that ultimately leads to a role with the manufacturer. You know, when I was young, I, I could look at other drivers that are making a career in auto racing and think, well, how'd they, how'd they get to the top? And not one path was the same. And for me, it was, it was you know, kind of outside the box, um, you know, jumping over here and over here. But for me, I think it's, it's persistence, it's a never give up attitude, it's, uh, uh, you know, when I, when I do get an opportunity to make the most of it, and then hopefully just continue to progress forward.